Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here we are giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Well, today is Wednesday. What they say a few years back, hump day, hump day, hump day. Remember that commercial? Anywho. <laughs> We're here. Today is Wednesday, March 9th, I believe it is. Um, is it the 9th? I think it's the 9th. Yeah. I don't know. Let's check and see. Uh, yep. Wednesday, March 9th, 20 and 22. And by the grace of God, we are here. We're at the Transit Center a little early. Mm -hmm. We actually walked out the door at like 331, 332 this morning. Amen. And so we give God the glory. It seems like we were finished sleeping. We, why am I saying we? I was finished sleeping. It seems at about midnight. I don't know. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I laid back down and uh, just kind of laid there. <coughs> Maybe dozed a bit, but then by 1.30, it's like, okay, girl, you done. And I got myself together and just sat and watched a, a little television and here we are. Beloved. Now I know they say stranger things have happened. You can speak to someone about something and their response might be stranger things have happened. But sometimes you can witness for yourself certain things and you find it hard to believe that something stranger than this has occurred. Not pointing fingers. Am I speaking in regards to something in particular? <laughs> yes, this is the is. But I can look at my own life and I look at challenges, mistakes, decisions, and I'm like, girl. So it's not about pointing fingers, but it is about some time. People can leave you speechless. You, 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 you don't believe you're witnessing what you're witnessing. And you're just kind of, what the what? But it's at that time as well where we have to turn the light on ourselves. My favorite song of the entire world, Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. Start with you, Sharon. And I'm reminded of God's grace and how God delivered me, how God brought me out, how God made a way, how God sustained, how God carried, how he continues to carry, how much Jesus loves me. And I'm here today, not because of Sharon, but because of the grace of God. And so often God made a way for me. He made a way of escape. He worked everything out yet in my own foolishness, in my own pride, in my own I felt like I had to do it my way and and I'm sure I left a lot of folks speechless, scratching their head as the kids say, shaking my head, SMH. And I'm just kind of speechless this morning. And we just have to trust God so when people leave you speechless, just remember there were times in your life that perhaps you left folks speechless and where others prayed for you, 
you continue to pray for them. You know, I'm about to say, I'm really early, so I'm not going to get out the car just yet. I got the heat going. Um, but soon enough, I'm going to get out of here, make my way to track number one, get on the Metrolink from the Metrolink station here. We're going to make our way downtown LA to the Union Station from the Union Station off the Metrolink onto the red line. The red line as far as I need to go. And then I'm going to... My foot is feeling better, but I think I still might dash this week, hop on the dash, and then I'm going to walk inside of that building. And beloved, when I enter into that building, I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we will meet again on when, on tomorrow, from where? From my front seat. This your girl, Sharon. I'm out, y'all. Now, Anita Wilson has a song, Speechless. Lord, you leave me speechless. When we think about his goodness, his grace, how he takes care of us. So why don't y'all listen to that song? And when folk walking around here leave you speechless, just remember, pray for them as someone prayed for you one day. This is your girl Sharon. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.